I work with the Early Needs and Recovery Program, specifically in the weed space. Bellingen was largely impacted, as well as the rest of the coast. Flooding really affects the increased load of weeds. It really puts a pressure on the landholders. It's so important to target weeds. It is the least of priorities for landholders, especially after a flood when they've got animals that really need a lot more help. So bringing in this funding has really helped them a lot to focus on weed control again, but also have that support available to them. In the Bellingen area, we've had 621 hectares of weed control undertaken. Through the Early Needs Flood Recovery, we have been able to fund Kane's position. He's been able to be out on ground to assist the landholders, particularly with weed control. I'm the invasive plant inspector, and it's just given us a lot more ability to do a lot of on the grounds work. But our two main weeds at the moment are cockspur coral trees and tropical soda apple. Both of them impact farmers, but Tropical soda apple has a huge impact on the cattle industry. Most of these paddocks are bordering rivers or in lowland areas. Obviously, there's been huge impacts to pasture and direct stock losses from the flooding. Once you've had this mass disturbance, that's when the weed seeds are gonna start popping up. Trying to hit them before they add to the seed bank, it's gonna take a lot less time than if that's left for a few years and creates an infestation. So across the North Coast, we work with six different local councils who all assist with the on-ground works. So we've done almost a thousand hectares of weed control. This ranges from the Tweed Heads all the way down to Port Macquarie in the North Coast region. We have also been doing webinars and workshops with the landholders to get them involved, to increase their knowledge about weed on their property as well. It's been great to see in agricultural production areas the success of controlling the weed species I've seen a massive amount come out of this funding. A lot of the equipment we got when I started just to enable us to do more of the on-ground works. It's given us a lot of ability to do more work and more inspections. It pleases me to see these natural areas regenerating and farmers just happy that they have less weeds to deal with. They really appreciate the fact that these could be problems in the future, just stopping them before they start basically. <laughs>